Hey ladies, I just wanted to come really quick and do a tutorial on this glittery eyeshadow look. I did a look um, a few days ago and I um, posted it here on YouTube, asked you guys, you know, whether you guys think it's a yay or a nay on the glitter. A lot of you guys liked it, um, but now looking back at that video, I'm like, yeah, that definitely was the wrong kind of glitter definitely the wrong kind of glue um, I do not um, I do not recommend using like um, like school glitter you know for these for these glitter looks um, definitely because even though you may look in the bottles and think oh it's really really nice fine glitter like really really thin glitter when you put it on it's gonna look chunky and when I was like looking back at the pictures and stuff that I took afterwards I was like oh Lord Jesus like I look a hot ass mess so anyway I mean you can try it there's nothing wrong with trial and error because that's what I did you know I bought some glitter and you know it ended up not being the right kind of glitter and was not the right kind of glue do not get lash tight glue by our doubt do not get the clear um, adhesive in the bottle do not get it um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys, though, the items that I did pick up because I told you guys I was going to give this glitter thing another try, and I absolutely did, and I think I did a much better job. This is not chunky glitter. It's really nice, fine glitter, um, and you can get it at Sally's, or at least I think you can because I believe these items are on clearance because I found them, first of all, I don't really want to give a shout out to Sally's Beauty because the people in there did not help me at all. Um, and the funny thing is they told me that they did not carry them. And then as I was up front at the register, something told me to look down and I found them in this like plastic jar. There was like maybe 15 or 20 of them in this jar and they were marked on clearance. So that's how I found them. But they didn't even bother to help me. They were like, no, we don't carry them. And I was like, well, it says online that the stores carry them. They're like, well, maybe some stores do, but we don't. We don't have them. And I was like, whatever. Anyways, yeah, I was not happy. I mean, I was happy when I finally found them, but I was happy that they didn't even bother to help me, like, look for it, seriously. So anyways, before I was getting ready to just, like, get what I found and leave... I found these Sally Girl. First of all, all these products is by Sally Girl. And if you guys know, at Sally's Beauty Supply, they carry, like, in the front where the registers are, they have, like, Sally Girl um, cosmetics. They have, like, the little mini um, nail polishes, the little mini lipsticks, the little mini eyeshadows. Like, they have all that up there, and it's always, like, 99 cents. And they're really good deals because they really have nice, um, I think the eyeshadows are like baked eyeshadows, but they have a lot of eyeshadows that are really, really pretty. And for 99 cents, you can't beat it. So when I went up there, the only thing I seen that was like glitter was the, they did have glitter eyeshadows, but I was looking for the loose glitter pigments that it shows on their website. So I picked up these first. These are the glitter eyeshadows that they have. That's in blue. I ended up getting two silver ones. I don't know how the heck that happened. But anyway, I got two silver ones. And then I got a gold one. And I got this white iridescent one. So those are the ones I found first. And I was like, if, not, if all fails and I don't find anything else, I'll just try those out and see if they work. Because I figure, you know, they still have the glitter in them. So I can, you know, use those and use eyelash glue and, you know, adhere it to my eye and it should still work, you know, right? So, I, excuse me, I haven't used these yet, but I am going to give it a try on those. So then I found the loose glitter pigments finally, and I was so excited. These were 99 cents as well, and I ended up getting a total of six of them. I've got these, what side am I on? <laughs> I've got the purple, which is what I'm wearing today. I got the blue, and I got this neon green, and that's what those look like. And then on this one, I got the gold, I got the white, and I got this turquoise color. Okay, so those were all 99 cents. And then I got this um, lash adhesive, and it's clear adhesive. It dries clear. It's not the actual clear stuff that I got last time. It's by Andrea. This is what the box looks like, and it says clear adhesive for lash strips. 
get what says lash strips and this is what it says I think it's funny thing is I think all the stuff you see it says lash grip at the top there I think all adhesive all lash glue is the same I swear but anyway it says lash grip at the top so any type of lash glue like this that you get make sure it's not like the clear gel adhesive make sure it's like this cream you know what I mean like the cream consistency and this does dry clear okay so you don't have to worry about it being all like you know or whatnot as you can see on my eye it dries clear so this is what my look is um, I have like a mini tutorial I hope you guys enjoy it if you haven't I told you guys I was gonna come back and do another tutorial okay you guys said yeah we'd like to see a tutorial and thank you guys for always commenting on my videos when I ask you like what you guys think about stuff like I said whether it be good or bad I appreciate you commenting and letting me know so anyways Here's the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any questions or anything like that, you can always comment below or send me a message. Let me know what you guys think about this look because, of course, I want to know what you think. Like I said, be honest. That's okay. I can take it. I got a, I got a tough skin, okay? So anyways, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the tutorial.